Say my name, say my name. Dear Yves, it's Misha Kieran Ye, August Shaw, What the Fuckle, where I answer your questions about the Irish language. And this video is about changing my name. Um, it's Rud Sachmor Eishodumsa. So it's a really big deal for me. I have changed my name back to the original Irish. So in this video, I want to talk a bit about the reasons behind changing my name and how you can go about it if you want to. It actually is a really long time coming. So my passport, the last passport I got was 10 years ago. And that's when I just really kind of started college. And I hadn't, I'd considered changing my name to Nye Khan, but it just seemed, I didn't want to for various reasons, which I'll get into later. The name that was on my birth cert and the name that I grew up using was Kira Hinehen. Um, and that's the name that was on my dad's birth cert and his dad's birth cert. And I'm not sure how far back that goes, but Hinehen is the anglicized form of the original surname, O'Hainachan. I didn't want to change it to Irish 10 years ago because my name for my entire life had been Hinehen and my family's name is Hinehen. My brothers and sisters are called Hinehen. And I just kind of thought that I wanted to stay with that. And I started using Nienachan and Nie, a shortened form of Nienachan. Um, as a pen name or um, an anam kleta in Oscarilga, which is translates directly as like a, a quill name or like a feather name, which I love. Um Ach an Huyger Harlish in our era now V Kira Ni A just on K litter. So I had Kira Ni A with just the first letter of my last name as my name on Twitter. And then I kind of just started using that. And the reason I had that is because back in the day people used to not put their full name on the internet. Crazy, I know, Marnish Reinemid Chulahort. Ach, um, yeah, basically, as well as wanting to keep the name as my family, I actually thought it was going to be a really difficult process to change my name into the original Irish. Um, even now, when, it, when I was, like, even now, after 10 years of kind of being in Sale na Gaelga or living my life through Irish, I wasn't educated properly on how easy it would be. So I'm very thankful to Conrad Gaelga and their website peg.ie. So peg.ie forward, sla forward slash Kiarta, C E A R T A, is where I found a lot of information about changing my name um, back to Irish, and it's so easy. All you have to have is two pieces of evidence that go back at least two years that show that you've used that name, the Irish version. Um, and these pieces don't have to be super official. So they could be a work, something to do at work, like a pay slip, or they could be a letter from your gym, a dance class, like Ain Road the Rinitu in our era. So if you want to change your name to Irish and you don't have it used on any sources, get a library card, ask Gael Ganesh, or get something just to prove that you've been using it. Something else I learned from that website is that you have the right to use your name in Irish now and again, or on every document if you wish. Because I kind of knew that people often use their name in Irish or English and it's not the same as having a totally different name. You know, you're allowed to kind of have both of them and people over, like, just kind of allow it. But I wasn't sure if that was like a loosey-goosey unofficial thing or if it was official. So now I understand that it's actually a right. So I had two letters relating to work things, just kind of contracts. Um, that had Kieran Yenachan that I'd signed and they were both more than two years old. I submitted those two letters with my passport application. I got a phone call from the passport office like a week later and they were checking exactly what name I wanted because I wanted to have Kieran Yenachan but you can have um, on the you can have on the next page the first page in your book after the one with the photo on it your birth cert name. So it's really nice actually because I didn't have to get rid of the Hinehen aspect, like it's actually still there in my passport. Um, so I kind of feel that connection to the rest of my family. Honestly, I never really thought that I'd change my name. Hinehen is my name. It's Shinon Balak or Vanimeer. And I decided to leave it as such. And as time went on, I kind of realized that I was doing that a little bit. Like I said, it's because it was my name and it's my family name and all that kind of stuff. Ah. Like to be 100% honest, there was definitely a part of me that knew it was just easier because it's easier to have something that's in the norm. You get less people really confused on the phone when you're trying to make a booking or less mistakes um, when you're trying to fill out forms. Because unfortunately, even, uh, like, even though we live in Ireland, a lot of the companies that, fu that function in Ireland don't allow you to have fathers on your name and it leads to really annoying situations like where you go to collect your tickets and instead of having... Like say if I even just use Kira Ni A, so N I father, E father, I might go to collect my tickets and they just have Kira N and then it's like a question mark and an asterisk because their system can't deal with fathers. 
Rudi Marshin, um, and with using Henehan, I didn't have to put up with any of that. But in like, I actually had started using Irish, and I kind of had a taste of some of those things. Um, but it's important to me as well to recognize that Henehan, although it might be more common for people in Ireland to use anglicized forms of their original names, it doesn't mean that those anglicized forms are more valid. Um, I think it's very understandable to want to have a name that people can pronounce and recognize. And this is something that happens to people all over the world. Oh, I was like, so what did you want to be? I wanted to be called Zoe. Uh-huh. And so I came home one day and I was like, mommy, um, can you call me Zoe? And she was cooking and she just stopped and she looked at me and she was like, why? And I said, because no one can say Ozamaka. And she just like, without skipping a beat, she was like, if they can learn to say Tchaikovsky and Dostoevsky and Michelangelo, then they can learn to say Ozamaka. <laughs> and she went right back to <laughs> Do not stop. When you read an Irish name, you can often make out what the etymology is. But then when it's anglicized, it loses any connection. It's the same things with place names in Ireland. It's crazy to think of that, how it's developed over the years. Like at first, I'm sure it was so strange for Irish people to have their surnames rewritten in a foreign script. And then after years of colonization and everyone speaking English, we think that the spellings with the English version are more valid than the originals. So when you think about that, it might make you want to change your name. <laughs> but anyway, a young woman called Roisin Nicolium um, who I've had the pleasure of meeting on a few occasions, actually recently changed her name as well. Um, August scribes she alt fui er nos punkai August vi and halt dochret erfad August is minlum quid de elevenish August and shin kurhime nask she is August is ex minaver and and tanem chinal in merle shot der she. Korha gaelta vechern marshin dogamad hinge August da gurhing me hain in ahana mar roshin Wilson. Gwail er tinnel, agus i sánaha is jig is slauri dove rishta on chlinikish, a hagana, a changa, agus a fe nulacht, fos fe smacht on tasanig. Er clustent on tlina galdadum, ta makali nanguni mora fos le clus, ta turin is pian streel on vataskor hutig, fos le brastent, agus ta bulla puder gunna, fos a hihlu is jig im a chankin. Um, wow, ta gwaili in ta chaki. If you do want to change your name, I will leave a link down to the Kunmuna Gaelga website below. And if you're not sure what the Irish is for your name, um, there's some great websites which I'll leave below. Um, the website slina.ie talks about loads of different surname things. There's also um, kine.com, which uh, Kevin Scannell runs, that has a Gaelu, no Irishization form, a Gaelicization um, form that you can fill in for your first and your second name, and it will give you. Um, a version of your name and then there's a website behind the name.com which is good for first names um as well so shine is misha kira ni ene khan anish august tame fear rodul va filta er an anam shin ta anam na ka an tavuk tokh august vi kira ni ene khan anu sadagum they've been using it in irish for so long so it was really just a matter of getting the official documentation but it did make a difference and when it arrived i felt really happy so, Shin A Achorda, that's what the focal for this week, where I answer your questions about the Irish language. And if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer, please feel free to get in touch. Slán!